I have a pick for the movie picks for the week, and that is the movie Mulan. Mulan was remade, and it came with a price tag of $200 million. It's the most expensive film that was ever directed by a woman. The director is Nikki Caro. Now, critics seen the film before the pro, uh, the coronavirus epidemic, pandemic, excuse me, and some of these reviews were kind of mixed. For Mulan, some of the good was that unlike recent live-action remakes of The Lion King or Aladdin, Mulan isn't a line-for-line remake of the 98 cartoon, and it is better for it. But then there were some people that were kind of so-so on it. One said from the Associated Press that Mulan was more good than bad, but it would have been improved by reminding viewers less of the 1998 original instead of focusing on being its own movie. But then, of course, there's the ugly reviews. One said from the Wall Street Journal that Mulan represented an interesting experiment in at-home entertainment, and it offered little of interest. I actually liked it. It was nice action and everything. It kind of hinted around to a a little bit of a style like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. You remember that uh, movie, Cortez? Yes, I do. It was a good movie. It was, it was an outstanding. It was very, very good, very well done. Mm-hmm. Choreography and everything was tight. And and there was a yes, it still kind of followed a, a, a mostly the '98 version, the cartoon version. But I really liked it. It's a good story. It's very solid. I had really no problems with it. It was very entertaining. And there were some Chinese, Asian slash Asian actors from other movies that Cortez would be familiar with. You remember your Ip Man movie? Uh... Jet Li, man. Jet Li is in there. Yes, he is. He plays the emperor. But also Ip Man, the oh. D- Donnie Yen, if I'm right. Yes, Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen, Donnie he, Yen. They're both in the movie. And, and hmm. oh, man, Donnie Yen was going off. He's, his sword play was tight. Absolutely tight. And, and of course, the live action remake, I thought it was really good. A lot of good action and everything. And But the only thing is, the whole controversy is, if you're part of Disney+, Plus. Are you going to pay an extra $30 to rent this movie out or to buy the movie and watch it anytime you want while you're still paying $7 a month just for the, the app? You said, am I going to pay how much for the movie? The, it originally was slated to come out uh, for $30 on top of the 7 that you already paid for Disney+. Plus. If it's about the kids, I'm going to go ahead and spend the 30 bucks. It's not that serious. Mm-hmm. Considering if you go to the movie theater and buy it, you know, if you go to take the family out to the movie theater to, to, uh, to watch it, you know, four movie tickets are going to cost you, what, 60 bucks from the gate? We ain't talked about popcorn or snacks. Nope. So technically, you're about 60-some-odd dollars ahead. You can, they, can, they can always watch it again later. Mm-hmm. True. You know, so go on and spend, give them the money. It's not that heavy. I don't know. I mean, are you willing to watch it now, or you could wait till just December fourth, where it's going to be free through the platform? Some people can't wait, mm-hmm. okay. And even in the pandemic situation, like we are, where you have mass unemployment, there are a group of people out here that have to believe that this does not affect them. Mm-hmm. When even if you're working, it affects you because you better be goddamn glad you are still employed. Mm-hmm. So for, I'm going to say for those that can, over 30 bucks, I would go ahead and do it. Hell, as a matter of fact, as a, as a side promotion, okay. if you want to give some family that, you know, maybe the cable just got cut off, hey, I'm going to let your kids watch Mulan all month for free on me. There you yeah. go. And I still may throw you six months at Disney. Now, Kudos. after that, I don't know. I can't, you know. <laughs> Can't help you after that, but mm-hmm. hey. Yeah, hey, I wait till December, man. I think the, the reason why the movie got some people got mystery mixed reviews to it. One thing, I, every time somebody does a piece that is non Eurocentric, man, that shit gets trash, man. From what I realize, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. if it's not, if it doesn't have a European theme, the shit gets trash. It gets tar. It gets tossed to the curb, man. Mm-hmm. I think honestly, I, I haven't seen Mulan. But I bet you that shit was off the chain, man. It was good. It's just. It's just we are the way our culture is and the direction we're going in right now. If the shit's not Eurocentric, man, we ain't, we ain't buying it. We don't vibe into it. And they had best actors in there, man. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah, you had the top man. martial artists, 
top Asian actors, man, Absolutely. up in this flick, man. Absolutely. They could have been any place else. They could have been any place else, man. You know what I'm saying? Just like with the color purple and all these other time pieces, man, they get shafted, bro. Mm. And overall, in my opinion, I give Mulan three and a half stars out of five. I think That's it's good. Man. It's a very good movie. It's good for the kids. Unfortunately, right now, overseas, there are some talks of trying to boycott the movie in certain Asian countries, such as Thailand and Hong Kong and, and other places of that uh, of that uh, area and direction. So hopefully there won't be any kind of more drama because it really is a good movie. Folks, we got to remember, this is an adaptation from a cartoon, mm-hmm. which was from a book. Correct. I like the cartoon was off the chain. I seen a cartoon, man. It was off. I thought it was very entertaining, man. Mm-hmm. But what Disney's doing is, you know, when you try to do an adaptation from a cartoon into a movie, it's a hit and miss with your audience because it's already been out there already. So people are more judgmental. I think also they're more judgmental on what goes out there. They're more critical about how the finished product is going to look. But if your daughter wanted to, to see Mulan, Daddy, come on, let's go see Mulan. Can we watch it? Yeah, she watch it in December. <laughs> watch that shit right up in December. Daddy ain't spent no thirty bucks. <laughs> I get her the little action. She want the little action figurine. We get that too. Okay. It's just I, you know, it's just I. Thirty bucks is a little steep, but mm. that's just my, you know, that's because you're not buying I. If for thirty bucks, I want the ambience of the theater, man. I want the popcorn and all the other shit that mm. comes with it. That's right, the massaging seats. You the lo- spend more than thirty dollars, I can yeah. tell you that. <laughs> That's true. true. That's true, true. man. Speakeasies just, in front of the movie theater. I say that. The last yeah. time I took my son to the movies, it was fifteen a piece just to get in. Mm. We spent another probably thirty a piece on food. Can you just stuff them up earlier and, and then take them to the movies? I hadn't been to this particular movie theater um, ever, so you know I was willing to pay whatever it was. But you, I mean, it's a nice experience. Don't get me wrong; it's mm-hmm. it's worth every penny. 